Back with another video with IDN TV. Now we have additional details on Little Dirk's older brother D Thang. Now we have more info in his passing at Club O in Harvey, Illinois. Now before we get into this, if you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe with the bell notifications on. That way the news comes straight to your phone. You don't have to look around for news. Now let's get into it. Now Little Dirk's older brother D Thang was located near a SUV and that SUV was loaded with holes inside that car. Now the police said that a large crowd was surrounding Little Dirk's brother D Thing, and they were quote unquote a unruly crowd around D Thing while he was on the ground. Now the police report also says it was a large puddle of blood near the neck in his head of D Thing. Now D Thing was transported to a local hospital by some of his associates where they took him to the South Suburban Hospital in Hazelcrest. This is where D Thing passed away, unfortunately. Now, the police reports also states that weapons were discharged by unknown suspects at the southeast corner of the club, while another group returned fire to that unknown group or in the northeast corner of that building. Now, the police found four different types of shells on the scene. Now, according to the police report, they found blood-like stains throughout the club's parking lot. Now, that same night, one person was taken in for questioning, in which during the interview, the person admitted that he actually worked with D-Thing on the marketing side of the music industry and he attempted to actually leave the scene in that SUV because he was quote unquote emotional about the shooting of D-Thing. Now this unnamed man admitted that D-Thing got into an argument with another unknown male who shot him and fled the scenes. Now records show, now they say the description widely matches the description that the security gave to the police. Now they say this man was involved in the weapons fight as well. So long story short, the man that was a part of marketing for D-Thing, now he's saying, now the unknown man is saying that the guy shot D-Thing and ran away, while the police report is saying that he was a part of the entourage shooting back and forth, the person that did it. Now another person who admitted that he was on the scene, he actually went to his Instagram. His name is Money Making Trail on Instagram. Now some people say he's affiliated with OTF, Little Dirk, and of course D-Thing. Now Money Making Trail went to his Instagram page to post a picture of him and D-Thing and he said this, he says, always right there with you brother, you know that. Any jam, I got us out. This time I couldn't do it. I'm so sorry blood, I failed you. I got your back and you know you got mine. I love you, big brother. As long as you know that, that's all that matters. Us against them, always. Long live my brother. Now under the comments, I guess this comment might have rubbed a lot of people the wrong way because someone went in his comments and was saying that he was looking for clout and he was posting too much for the clout. Now this is when one of his aunties allegedly had to get into the comments and said this. She says, my nephew doesn't need any clout. He needs prayers. In this case, you don't know he was shot and witnessed a fatality. Unfortunately, sometimes the internet can get you in trouble. Sometimes the internet can help you heal. Now we'll see how this plays out. Now another individual who was mentioned on the police report is Devonair English, who was issued a arrest warrant Tuesday, this past Tuesday. Now English is being accused by the police for aggravated battery to a peace officer and the unlawfully use of a weapon in the connection of D Thing's shooting. Now English, who is 23 years old, is being labeled as an associate of D Thing as well. Now English was involved in a physical altercation with a pair of officers. Now one of the officers stated that English had a weapon, and this is when the police officer tries to wrestle the weapon away from English. It ended up hitting the police officer in his left thigh. Now English managed to get away, but he did speak with the Chicago Sun-Times. Now according to English, he says he pulled the car around the club and in the midst of him hopping out and trying to give his cousin a weapon who isn't named, the police actually seen the weapon and tried to grab it from him. English says he's unsure what happened on the other side of the parking lot. He did notice an argument where the people were shooting at each other. Now this is the same time when him and the police officers are wrestling for the weapon. So what it seems like with this case, it seems like it's a lot of people on the scene. A lot of people were scrambling. Like they said, they found four different shell cases on the scene. So we got the guy on the Instagram who is a part of D-Thing. He said that unfortunately he got hit up during that situation. We have another man, English, who was saying that he was just riding around trying to get the weapon to his cousin and he got into it with the police. So, and then they say that they have an unnamed man who shot D-Thing and pretty much fled the scene. So we got three people that we're trying to find out more information. Unfortunately, this is gonna be a hot summer for Chicago, but I just wanna keep you guys updated and up posted with the news. Now here is a video of the guy that's allegedly money making trail. He's showing a wound on his hip. It looks like he's on his hip. 
but he's out and he's healthy it looks like he's back walking which is a good thing listen man if you got to the end of the video just confuse the people in the comments put friday down in the comments below that way i know you got to the end of the video i'm gonna like your comments and i'm gonna reply to everybody that says friday let's get it at the end i'll catch you on the next one signing out